Yo, 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 you're watching Day Day's Gameplay, and I'm your host, Day Day. So we're going to be talking about my loadouts today. I've had several people asking, what type of loadouts do I run with? Can I do a breakdown? And I'm going to be making a short, quick, yet informative video for you today. Real quick, if you haven't subscribed already, I ask you please do so. We got about 70% of y'all that are watching this video that are not subscribed. So go ahead and hit the subscribe button if you enjoy my content, along with the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I go live or upload another video. And on with that, we're going to get to the video. Alright, so I run several different classes, but typically whenever I'm trying to get a good gameplay, I'll stick with one class. However, lately I've been having the most fun playing Call of Duty with this class right here, the Milano and MP5 setup. My favorite gun hands down, is the MP5 Cold War Paint uh, Blaster uh, edition. Uh, edition. Paint Blaster skin. So, <laughs> I was messing up on that. Here we go. So, for this particular one, I'm using the Sound Suppressor. I prefer it over the Agency Suppressor because Agency Suppressor is going to give you a lot of negative things such as aim down sight speed. It's going to slow you down for your aim walking steadiness and your aiming stability. I use the sound suppressor and it affects your, it, it takes away your effective damage range and a lot of people do use the HC suppressor over the sound suppressor, but I don't seem to have any issues because I'm not engaging anybody at long distance. I prefer to just use, since I already have another submachine gun, uh, the Milano, if I need to have a little distance, I'm going to be switching to that. Um, but I don't like the iron sight specifically for this build. So I don't try to use it at a longer distance. Moving on to the next thing is the 9.5 inch barrel. Um, this is going to kind of counteract what I was trying to prevent against. But it gives me the more bullet velocity, but it takes away uh, walking movement speed. You could probably use and get away with uh, the extended, 9.5 inch extended. Uh, so you're not taking a, a hit, but I do prefer the 9.5 inch Ranger. I find that I get better performance out of it. It's just me personally. It's what I feel more comfortable with. Um, then I use the Tiger Teen Spotlight. That is the very common thing that you see on everybody's uh, Cold War build. Uh, the Stagnac 50 round drum. And then the Raider Stock is my favorite. Right. So the reason I love this specific gun is just because how much fun it really is. Just the paint splatter that goes on. And I don't know. It's just It just adds that that fun factor to it for me so i really enjoy it moving on to the milano um i run the sound suppressor again over the agency suppressor i, I just don't want all the, the the negative things that go along with it because this class is built for me to be fast and on the move and the milano is really good at distance believe it or not the people that i've played with laughed at me when i first saw i, I first saw people talking about it on tiktok i was like i'm gonna try it out and not many of my friends had seen that yet, and they laughed at me. And then when I started dropping teams, they were just they they were they were mind blown. So now they're running it too. So, uh, but I use the sound suppressor, like I said, you take away the effect of damage range. Um, I use the 10.5 inch Ranger, the field agency grip. Uh, this was going to take away from your fire movement speed and your ADS fire movement speed, but I use this for more longer from media to long range um, than I would with my cold war so uh, when i'm running around or i'm going to be in close quarters i'm using my cold war mp5 so this doesn't really affect me that much uh the stagnac 55 round drum and then i use the axle three times uh scope on this again we're using this for a longer distance than what we would use for anything else then moving on is the c58 um with the Cold War MP5 build again, the paint blaster. Uh, so we're gonna be looking at the C58. This is, oh, this is just like the Amax. Uh, I haven't fully leveled it up yet because I've been playing with the Milano and C, uh, Cold War MP5. But this thing hits and drops quick. Okay, so I run with the suppressor. Um, that's because I haven't unlocked the agency suppressor. If you have this unlocked, I would absolutely use the agency suppressor. I just haven't unlocked it yet. Um, the 18.2 inch takedown barrel. Uh, I would use this one. I forget the name of this one, but I 
but this is the one I would use. But this provides me effective damage range and uh, horizontal control. I don't care about if the vertical control because that's super easy to, to control. All you got to do is hold down on the thumbstick. But horizontal, it like jumps all over the place and it's random. So anytime that I can take some of that away, I'm taking it away in all my builds. Uh, the field agency grip. Uh, again, this is going to be helping with vertical and horizontal, but most importantly, it's the horizontal that I care about. The Stagnac 55 round drum and the Axle 3 times scope. Again, this is the Amax of the Season 4. Like, this thing just hits hard. It's got several buffs, so I'm really happy to see it. And, and this build's the exact same as the last one. Moving on to the Far MP5. This is what a lot of people in the competitive scene are using. I do enjoy this game. This one is fully leveled up, as you can see. So uh, everything you see on here is what I would absolutely run. Uh, I don't run the Growl Suppressor. Again, I don't want to take... That's just a lot of negative things that I don't want to have. Uh, the Suppressor, I take away some damage. But we're going to make it up right here with the 18.7-inch Spetsnaz RPK barrel. We're going to be taking away, again, some more hip fire accuracy, some aiming walking down sights. But, again, when I'm close quarters... I got my secondary out. When I'm transitioning from building to building or I'm moving around the map without being in an engagement, I got my, my uh, secondary out so this way I can move faster. So it doesn't really have that much of an effect on me. And if you follow that same strategy, it won't have that much of an effect on you as well, obviously. The Spetsnaz grip, again, we want to control the horizontal uh, recoil as much as possible. We get an addition with the vertical, but what I care about the most is horizontal. Again, it's so random, it's hard to control. The Spetsnaz 60 round, the reason I go with this one instead of, I think a lot of people run, yeah, this one right here, the Fast Mag, is because the end down sight time is dramatically, since that's the only con, it's a lot worse than just a 60 round um, Spetsnaz Mag. And then the common Axle Arms 3 times scope. The next class is something I'm, I'm trying. I'm not much of a sniper, as I'm sure most of y'all know, but I'm trying to get into the sniping scene a little bit. you know. So for this one, I'm using the uh, XM4. The specific build for this is the Vexlord. That's the blueprint uh, with the HC suppressor. This is supposed to be my uh, submachine gun build type thing. Uh, if, if that's the way you want to look at it, it's from my close quarters. Tiger Team Spotlight, Microflex uh, LED. I preferred this optic over other red dots just because the profile just feels better. Like I still know how to explain it. When, you, when you're building a class, whatever feels the best for you is, is definitely what you want to make sure you're going with. Uh, because it's not always just about the numbers. If you don't feel like the class fits you or that gun or that build fits you, you need to adjust it so you feel more comfortable with it. Uh, the 45 round mag and the Raider pad stock. This is a fast moving class. It allows you whenever someone's pushing you, you can drop people quick. I love the XM4. I wish they would give it a little bit more of a buff. Leave down in the comments below if you think it needs a buff or what gun do you think needs a buff. I'm really interested to see what you guys have to say. Moving on, we got the traditional Car 98 uh, monolithic suppressor. Uh, this isn't fully leveled up. Um, Singar Custom 21.2, TAC Laser, Sniper Scope, and Stavol Precision Comb. So I don't know much about sniper rifles. I wouldn't necessarily take my build. Again, I'm not the best. I'm not even remotely close. All right. So if you guys have any suggestions on how I should build my Car 98 class, please, again, comments down below. Let me know. I'd greatly appreciate it. Uh, and I could get some, some videos up of you. This right here is uh, my stream challenge. So every time that I stream, I take any kind of challenges and I will at least do them. Some people uh, won't in, in my, in my, if I'm playing with like some subscribers or something, they may not do it. But for the most part, everybody I'm playing with will actually jump on board and do the, the stream challenge. And the last one that we had was this. Um, I think this is the, yeah, this is the DMR uh, with a silencer. 6.3 titanium front grip 30 round speed mag and three times scope it's the uh oh i forgot what what meta that was i think it was season two season one but my dmr excuse me 
isn't all the way leveled up. That's what they came up with me. And then the Milano, uh, I was allowed to build what I, I currently use minus the three times scope. So if you just want to run this as a secondary and not a primary, the thing that I switched out is I take away the, uh, the optic and I put in a jungle grip to reduce the flinch and to give me some more aim down sight. Um, next is one of my favorite guns still today to use. It's not powerful at all, but if I'm just feeling like messing around or whatever the case may be, and I want to run restock, I'm choosing my RAM. Uh, it's just a fun class to have. And then the secondary, I'll pick up whoever I kill. Like whatever secondary they have, I'll run with that. So it kind of adds a little, little interesting fun game to it. You know, you don't know what you're going to get for your secondary. And then... Of course, the Amax, uh, which is Ghost, and then these others down here are all the same as above, but Ghost. So this way, whenever I get my second class, or if I'm coming in for a late game and I need to just get a Ghost class, get a gun, then I can just pick it up right there for what I was running with. Uh, of course, you got to have your MP5, you know, the Cold War. If you're not using the Pain Blaster, you've got to give it a shot. It is hands down the funnest gun to play with. You'll have so many people asking. What's he using? Video, I asked you please hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And hit the notification bell so you can be notified whenever I go live or upload a video. We're really, really close to a thousand subscribers. And I'd love for you guys to join the community. It's just fastly growing every single day. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace and love. Oh, and make sure you check out the videos above. Peace and love.